Hi, I'm Andreas Apitz. In this video, I will show you my personal perspective on the so-called so what voicings and some possibilities that I derive from this view. The opening track of the famous 1959 Miles Davis album Kind of Blue is called So What. It's a study of the D. Dorian mode. Bill Evans plays a two-chord vamp that has since become known as the So What chords. Let's examine the second chord first. The internal structure of the voicing is mostly based on fourths. Root, fourth, minor seventh, minor third, fifth. Which can be analyzed as D minor seven with an added fourth. The stacked fourths voicing was a distinct new modern sound at the time the record was released, as opposed to the more traditional stacked thirds voicing types. Now I am going to fold this voicing in the closest possible position by dropping these two notes, the minor third and the fifth, by an octave. We now can see that the notes of the chord are identical to those of the D minor pentatonic scale. Let's look at it the other way around, putting the notes of the D minor pentatonic scale up here. I then invert it by dropping the seventh by an octave. Now the fifth is on top. From here, I drop the second and fourth voice by an octave. And here's the so what chord again. From now on, I'll call the so what chord pentatonic drop two and four voicing. The first chord of the So What Vamp figure is of the exact same structure, just a whole step above. Which means it's a pentatonic drop two and four voicing of E minor seven. I think of the E minor seventh chord as of the upper diatonic neighboring chord of D minor 7 in the D Dorian mode. Diatonic means within the scale, which in this case is the Dorian scale. If we look at the notes of both pentatonic voicings or scales, We can see that there is none that is not contained in D Dorian. We could state both pentatonic chords or scales are embedded in D Dorian, featuring different aspects of the mode. The D pentatonic voicing or scale features the more basic or fundamental notes of D Dorian, which are the root D, minor third F, the fifth A, and the minor seventh C, plus the fourth G as a color tone. The E pentatonic voicing or scale, if again seen from D as the mode center, emphasizes the color tones of D Dorian, which are the ninth or second E, the fourth G, 
and the major sixth B plus the root D and the fifth A as basic notes. In fact, there's another pentatonic scale embedded in D Dorian, the A minor pentatonic, which we put aside in this context. Let's move on by examining the D minor pentatonic voicing or scale further. The close position of it had been C, D, F, G, A. Of course, with five notes, there are five possible inversions of the scale. And from each inversion, we can derive a drop two and four voicing. Inversion with a seventh on top. Drop two and four. Inversion with a root on top. Drop two and four. Inversion with a third on top. Drop two and four. Inversion with a fourth on top. Drop two and four. All of them in a row. I consider three of these inversions as particularly useful. The inversion with the fifth on top, the inversion with the root on top, and the inversion with the third on top. The other inversions to me have a somewhat weaker sound. If I apply this procedure to the E minor 7 pentatonic voicing or scale, I get the three corresponding voicings for the diatonic neighboring chord. Inversion with a fifth on top. Inversion with a root on top. And the inversion with a third on top. I will now play the So What vamp in three ways using the three different voicings for each chord. The bridge of this tune is identical to its A sections, only raised by half step to E flat Dorian. And my three favorite voicings for the basic chord E flat minor 7 and its diatonic neighboring chord F minor 7 are inversion with a fifth on top. Inversions with the root on top. and inversions with a third on top. I will now play the B section using these three voicings. Finally, I will use all of these voicings for deliberately comping through the AABA form of the piece.
in the last A section I did some related things that I will discuss in another video. Bye, see you next time.